Orange crepes in a Britannia treat infused caramel glaze is the indulgence you didn't know you needed. Hi and welcome back to Britannia Dessert Carnival and today in this carnival I am going to make crepes azette with our Britannia infused treats. So let's begin. Well, Suzette naam sun ke ghavraiye mat. I know that that is a complicated recipe and I am making a very simple version out of it without the alcohol part. So I'll show you how to do it. First, in a bowl, I'm going to whisk some eggs along with some sugar. Let me do that first. I'm going to whisk it well till the sugar dissolves. Once the mixture looks a little pale, we are going to add in the butter. Well, you can do this entire process with the help of an egg beater as well. But we're not really looking for a lot of airiness in it. So a whisk will do just fine. Whisk in all the butter in it and make sure all the lumps are gone. Now we're going to add some milk. Okay, now I am going to add the flour. And in this I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I'm going to strain it into our liquid mixture. You can either whisk it with the whisk or you can fold it in with a spatula. I'm going to first fold this in and then use my whisk to nicely blend in all the ingredients. I'm going to go back to my whisk. I don't want any lumps in my batter and that's why a whisk is important. Since we are making crepes, the consistency has to be nice and thin because Unlike pancakes, these are very, very thin. So, this is ready. I'm going to add some butter off the flame. The pan should not be too hot every time you're adding butter because it's going to burn rather immediately. So, once I've greased this, although we're using a non-stick pan, so you really don't need to grease it, but I like to have a little bit of a flavor of the butter. And then I'm going to pour the batter on this. I'm going to swirl it around. Now as you can see the sides have come off on its own so this is the perfect time to flip it over. So this is done and I'm going to slide this out of the pan into this plate. I'm going to keep it here. Now we'll shoot out another crepe quickly. So the chunkiest tip of the day is that if you have a pan handy, which I do for the sauce, I'm quickly going to use this to cover the pan so that the crepes get cooked really fast and evenly from both the sides. Okay, so this is also done. Okay, now I'm going to move this on the side. So now we are going to make the sauce, which is a very, very simplified version of the Suzette sauce. So it's going to be very easy. Some orange juice will go into the pan. And for the fun of it, so I'm just going to add everything all together and we are going to then reduce it all together. Now the ladle, I've added some sugar to the orange juice, a pinch of salt, very slight, some lemon juice. And now I'm going to add some zest of orange and lemon. In fact, if you want, you can add the zest even in the batter. Okay, and some lemon zest as well while we are at it. Okay, now we're just going to let it simmer a bit because we want to reduce it. And then in the end, we are going to add a dollop of butter to make it nice and creamy and serve it with our crepes. Ready, superb. Now see this sauce has beautifully reduced it's smelling so, so amazing. Now you turn the flame off. Now this 
is going to make it even more creamy and yumalicious. All right, so our sauce is ready now. And the crepes were ready here. What are we going to do? Let's add some crunch to it. And we are going to do it with the help of our Britannia treat. These are yummy biscuits. They have cream inside it as well. So we are just going to put some of that as a filling inside this and pour some of our sauce on it. Lovely, look at the bright, beautiful color. And we're going to just flip this over. And here I have a pretty plate. I'm going to place this gently on it. All right, so our crepes and zets are ready. And with a dessert like this, a treat doesn't need to be earned. Well, I hope you like this recipe. I'm sure you do. Do like the video and share it with all your friends. And do visit us again. Subscribe for more such exciting recipes on the Britannia Dessert Carnival. Thank you.